Moving mountains ships that climb. We've all seen ships on water, right? They glide effortlessly across the surface, navigating through rivers, lakes, and oceans. But what about ships climbing mountains? Yes, you heard that right. Ships that can ascend steep inclines as if they were scaling a mountain. Sounds crazy, but it's true. This marvel of modern engineering is not just a figment of imagination. Ship lifts are like giant water elevators, helping ships conquer obstacles like dams and hills. These lifts are designed to move ships vertically, overcoming natural barriers that would otherwise be impassable. They're engineering feats that make you go, how'd they do that? The intricate machinery and precise calculations involved are nothing short of astounding. Imagine a massive ship, loaded with cargo, rising hundreds of feet in the air. It's a sight to behold, a testament to human ingenuity and technological advancement. It's like a scene from a movie, but it's real. These ship lifts operate with such precision and power that they seem almost magical. Ship lifts make the impossible possible, connecting waterways and changing how we move goods around the world. They bridge the gap between different water levels, making transportation more efficient and less time-consuming. These incredible structures are more than just cool engineering, they represent a significant leap forward in our ability to navigate and utilize our waterways. They're game-changers for trade, the environment, and even tourism. By facilitating smoother and faster transportation, ship lifts reduce fuel consumption and lower emissions, making them an eco-friendly solution. So buckle up folks as we dive into the world of ship lifts, where gravity takes a back seat. We'll explore how these marvels work, their impact on global trade, and the future innovations that could make them even more efficient. How ship lifts work, like water elevators, ever used an elevator? Ship lifts work in a similar way just on a much larger scale. Think of them as giant tubs or caissons filled with water. Ships sail into these caissons and then the real magic happens. Powerful motors and cables or sometimes even hydraulics lift the entire caisson. It's like a ship getting a lift from a strong friend. This lifting process can be vertical, like a traditional elevator, or inclined, like a funicular railway. Once the caisson reaches the desired height, gates open, and the ship sails out to continue its journey. It's a smooth and controlled operation, ensuring the safety of both the ship and its cargo. The mighty Three Gorges Dam a ship lift champion let's talk about a real-life example, the Three Gorges Dam in China. This massive structure is a marvel of engineering and its ship lift is equally impressive. It's the largest of its kind, capable of lifting ships weighing over 3,000 tons. Now, the Yangtze River, where the dam is located, is a major shipping route. But the dam created a 370-foot difference in water levels. That's like climbing a 37-story building. The ship lift solves this problem, allowing ships to bypass the dam and continue their journey. It's a prime example of how ship lifts facilitate trade and transportation, connecting different parts of a country and boosting the economy. A tale of two lifts vertical versus inclined. In the world of maritime navigation, ship lifts play a crucial role in overcoming the natural barriers posed by varying elevations in waterways. These engineering marvels are designed to transport ships between different levels of water, ensuring smooth and efficient passage. Ship lifts come in different shapes and sizes, each designed to suit the specific terrain and needs of the waterway. From towering vertical lifts to the more gradual inclined lifts, each type has its unique characteristics and applications. There are two main types, vertical and inclined. Each type operates on distinct principles and is suited for different environmental conditions and logistical requirements. Vertical lifts, as the name suggests, lift ships straight up. This vertical movement is akin to an elevator, where the ship is raised or lowered in a vertical direction, making it an efficient solution for steep terrains. Think of it like a massive elevator for ships. These lifts are particularly advantageous in areas where space is limited, as they require a smaller footprint compared to other types of ship lifts. They're perfect for locations with limited space or steep elevations. The vertical lift's compact design allows it to be installed in narrow valleys or urban areas where land is at a premium. Then there are inclined lifts. Unlike their vertical counterparts, inclined lifts transport ships along a sloped path, making use of rails and cables to facilitate the movement. These lifts work like a funicular, using rails and cables to move the caisson along an incline. This method is particularly effective in regions with a more gradual change in elevation, where a vertical lift might not be practical. They're ideal for locations with a more gradual change in elevation. The gentle slope of the inclined lift allows for a smoother transition, reducing the mechanical stress on the lift and the ships it transports. Both types are impressive feats of engineering, each with its own advantages and challenges. The choice between a vertical or inclined lift often depends on the specific geographical and logistical needs of the waterway. But one thing is for sure, they both make it possible for ships to navigate waterways that would otherwise be inaccessible. By overcoming natural barriers, these lifts play a vital role in global trade and transportation. 
ensuring that goods and people can move efficiently across the world's waterways. Section 5. Belgium's Stairway to Heaven, the Strepithieu Lift. Now let's travel back in time to visit one of the most iconic ship lifts ever built, Belgium's Strepithieu Boat Lift. This engineering marvel stands as a testament to human ingenuity and determination. This incredible structure completed in 1917 was a game changer for shipping in the region. Before its construction navigating the waterways of Belgium was a challenging task due to the significant difference in water levels. The Strepithieu Lift provided a much needed solution allowing ships to bypass these obstacles with ease. Imagine this, a ship lift that looks like a giant staircase for boats. It's not just a functional piece of infrastructure but also a visual spectacle. The sheer scale and design of the lift make it a remarkable sight to behold. The Strepithieu lift uses a system of four massive caissons, each weighing over 8,000 tons. These caissons are essentially giant water-filled containers that can hold ships and move them up or down the lift. Ships would sail into these caissons, and then the entire structure would move, like a giant lock system, to raise or lower the ships. This process was not only efficient but also a marvel of engineering showcasing the advanced technology of the early 20th century. While it's no longer in commercial operation, the Strepithieu lift is a testament to human ingenuity. Today, it stands as a historical monument and a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from all over the world who come to marvel at its design and learn about its history. It's now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, reminding us of the incredible things we can achieve when we put our minds to it. The Strepithieu lift is not just a piece of history, it's a symbol of what we can accomplish through innovation and perseverance. Its legacy continues to inspire future generations of engineers and dreamers alike. Section 6. Saving Time, Saving Fuel. The Economic Perks. Ship lifts aren't just cool to look at, they also make a lot of economic sense. Think about it. Ships are big and heavy. Moving them up and down hills or across dams takes a lot of time and fuel. Ship lifts provide a much more efficient solution. They use less energy than traditional methods like lock systems, which means lower fuel costs and reduced emissions. Plus, they significantly reduce travel time, allowing ships to transport goods faster and more efficiently. This efficiency translates to lower transportation costs, which benefits everyone, businesses, consumers, and the overall economy. Ship lifts are a prime example of how smart engineering can lead to economic growth. Section 7. Greener Waterways, The Environmental Impact In a world increasingly focused on sustainability, ship lifts offer a more eco-friendly way to navigate our waterways. Remember how I mentioned they use less energy than traditional lock systems? That translates to fewer greenhouse gas emissions which is a big win for the environment, but it doesn't stop there. By reducing congestion on waterways, ship lifts also contribute to quieter and cleaner environments. Less noise from ships constantly maneuvering through locks means less disturbance to marine life and surrounding communities. Ship lifts are a shining example of how we can balance human progress with environmental responsibility. They're a testament to the power of innovation in creating a more sustainable future. Section 8. The Future of Ship Lifts. What's next? Ship lifts have come a long way since their early days. And as technology continues to advance we can expect even more innovative and efficient designs in the future. Imagine ship lifts that use renewable energy sources like solar or wind power to further reduce their environmental footprint. Or picture automated systems that optimize ship movements, minimizing energy consumption and maximizing efficiency. The possibilities are endless. As we continue to explore new frontiers in engineering, ship lifts will play an even more crucial role in shaping the future of transportation and global trade while minimizing our impact on the planet.